I am Kemo Tate, instructor at the Colloden Vocational Training Centre and I teach a course, Carry Out Data Entry and Retrieval Procedures. This course is offered to Level 1 and Level 2 programs. The topics we'll be looking at today are hardware devices, along with initiating and closing down the computer system. At the end of the video, trainees should be able to correctly check if equipment and working environment are ready to perform tasks, identify the hardware components of the computer and their functions, shut down computer system using correct procedure. At the end of this segment, trainees should be able to define the term hardware, list the categories of hardware, explain at least two categories of hardware, and list at least two examples of devices from each category of hardware. A hardware device refers to the physical part of the computer that can be touched and seen. For example, your monitor. You can touch your monitor and you can also see it, so it's definitely a hardware device. Your system unit also, you can touch it and you can see it, so it falls in the same category of hardware device. Now, we're going to look at the classification of hardware devices. We have four main categories, input devices, output devices, storage and communication devices. Input devices are devices which, as the name states, is used to put data into the computer. Another input device is your mouse, and the mouse is basically used to interact with your graphical user interface or your screen. It is used to select and deselect icons. Output devices are used to convey information from the computer. For example, your monitor. The monitor is actually used to display text and images from the computer. Your speaker. It gives off sound which can be understood by you and me. Also, you have a projector here which is used to do PowerPoint presentation. That's also an output device. Steward devices are devices which are used to retrieve or write information from a storage medium. For example, you have a CD drive. The CD drive writes or reads information from your DVDs or CDs. You also have your flash drive, which is also another storage device, and it actually writes or retrieves information from itself. Communication devices are devices which are used to transfer information from one computer device to another. So for example, you have the modem, which is at the back of the computer, that the, blue, that the LAN card actually plugs in. That's a communication device, which is known as a modem, which actually sends information from this computer to another computer and also retrieves information from another computer. Hardware refers to the physical part of the computer that can be touched and seen. We have four categories of hardware. Input devices, which include your keyboard and your mouse. Output devices, such as your monitor and your speaker. Storage devices, which includes your CD or DVD drive, along with your flash drive. And the final category, which is communication devices, which includes your modem and your wireless router. Operating system software are software that manages and coordinates the activities of the computer. Examples of operating system software include Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, you have Linux, and you have Mac OS. Now let's define what is booting. Booting is the process by which the operating system which is installed on the computer is loaded into memory. When starting a computer, ensure you have four main components. Your monitor, your system unit, 
your keyboard and your mouse. Next thing, ensure that all your important cards are connected. Ensure your mouse is plugged in at the back of your computer. Your keyboard is plugged in. And the power cards are plugged into the power supply. Whenever those components are connected, it is okay for you to go ahead and press the power button both on your system unit and on your monitor, after which the system will start up. In shutting down your computer system, the first step is to save all of your work in progress. The next thing is to close all open programs. Now that all the open programs have been closed, you're going to move to the left lower hand corner of your screen, click on the start button. Now you will see the shutdown button. You will now click on the shutdown button and in a few seconds the system will be shut down. In reviewing the shutting down process, save all work in progress, close all windows which are open, click on the start button, then select and shut down. I hope you found this video on computer hardware and initiating and closing down the computer system useful and it will be beneficial to you in the near future. Take care.